Hello everyone, it's Roxy and welcome to this How to Awesome Notes quick tutorial where I will talk about the fire, the jump pad, the jump ball creeps and bonuses in a really technical way in order to improve from League 2 to League 1 or at least League 2. So fire, we all know fire need to be mastered because you need to drop to the enemy, you need to escape through fire, you should not be afraid of it, I say it can't last of time. As you've seen before, I'm showing different way of dropping through fire or dealing a lot of damage going through 300 to 500 damage. But if you can manage to dodge the platform and just go around it, exactly like I'm doing it right now, up, you will only take 180 damage or like 200 damage. This is the only way to jump, to jump, uh, to drop as fast as possible through fire without taking damage. This is crucial if you want to survive in a fight, and uh, if you want to like uh, maximize your potential XP uh, while getting off or in the fire. So don't forget, platforms are longer to drop, so try to avoid them by dodging away. So following on that, we are going to talk about the jump pad. So you probably saw some League 1 or League 2 player do that. So taking the jump pad in different angle in order to be propulsed at the bottom of the map or uh, the middle of the map or the top of the map and doing some crazy combo. It's really convenient. Uh, you need to learn how to do that with the character that you really like. It is not easy and it will require some practice. So the idea is, is to uh, jump a bit before hand uh, in order to hit the jump pad uh, at the end of the jump. So basically you're going to slide at the top of uh, the platform and hit the jump pad while slicing at, in the, uh, at the roof. By doing that, you're going to take the jump pad in a particular angle that's going to propulse you at the bottom. See, like I do. So some maps are more useful than other. Uh, actually, Star Storm is really convenient because it's one of the easiest to practice and it leads you directly to the bottom turret. Uh, Sorona is kind of pointless if you've seen it. Aegeon is really convenient on both mid and lower pot. Uh, you can only access mid with most character, and uh, with Scaldia you can access the bottom pot doing what I just saw. And uh, then the other map just need to be, need to be adapt. Uh, feel free to try it with your own character. I do not know if it works with every single awesome nuts. Uh, just because I don't play them enough to uh, learn that. But it works with Coop, it works with Creed, it works with Sentry, it works with Scaldia, with Stead, with Frog, with Lone Star. So I'm guessing every single one can do it. Just uh, learn it and uh, don't give up. So it's really convenient if you need to de push after a wipe, uh, if you need to surprise your team, if you want to do some like tricks. It's a good skill to have just in case of. I've seen a lot of really good top 20 players using it and uh, almost no one else, so there's probably a reason for that. So moving on to creeps, uh, you may notice that uh, you can actually get both creeps from only one lane. So here, for, for example, with Coop or Deadlift or other character, I haven't tried all of them, you can manage to uh, eat from above the platform using your AA in order to get both creeps. Doing that is really convenient because it does it allow you to heal while moving and uh, not being obligated to like move super far away. At the same time, talking about those creeps, I want to say that uh, some skills can allow you to have both creeps at the same time. Scoop is one of them, obviously, so I just showed it. But other character can do the same. Like you can bite with clunk uh, to get the upper platform creep uh, while killing the bottom creep with your AA. So it's some small tricks that can save your life uh, if you try to run away or if you want to engage and steal the creeps from someone else. So just learn it, make sure it works with your character and uh, it's actually quite convenient, so it's a small bonuses for you. So then I want to talk about two bonuses. The first time, the first one is that jump pad thing. It's so basic that I didn't want to talk about it, but then I realized at some point in my life I didn't know that. And uh, Badass told me that and it saved my life many times. So basically when you take the jump pad, uh, either if you press right or nothing, if you press nothing you're gonna be propulsed at the top and if you press uh, something you're gonna be ejected on the right which will lead you to the uh, lower part of uh, the platform. By doing that you can enter the mid area or like attack the mid area and run away or dodge the enemy or juke them etc etc so it's really convenient it's really easy just learn it and uh, if you see that the enemy is doing it assume that he's gonna do it again so you can already anticipate your kill based on him doing that instead of taking the jump pad correctly uh, it's just a small trick but it can be useful if you're not a really good player and finally uh, it's on another like 
trick that I haven't really discussed, but a uh, sentry can uh, put his teleport, take the jump pad and teleport again. It also it's allows him to like move really fast throughout the map, making traps, making team plays, etc, etc. Uh, it's called the tele jump. And uh, I'm just mentioning it in case people don't know it exists. Uh, if you need me, I will do a full tutorial on how to do it and what are the best spots because it's really cool. But just so you know it exists and if you want to explain it by yourself, feel free to do so. It's really fun. Just put the teleport, take a jump pad, teleport in the middle and you're going to flow across the map and uh, you can do some uh, six tricks. That is it for those quick tips uh, on how to become uh, better at Awesome Nuts. I think this target straight up uh, League uh, 2, 3 players, maybe League 1 if they don't know the jump pad trip trick at the beginning. Um, Alright, that is it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again pretty soon. And uh, tell me what you think of the video in the comment section. And if you need more information because you didn't get it, uh, feel free to comment it and I will explain it to you later. Goodbye and see you all around.